Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jones, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the Xbox One Jones, you're the main owner. I am. This is for both of you. Madden. What trait do you think will give you the edge at the next level? High risk plays, pro reads, reading the defense. Yeah, I think work. my ability to quickly find the open receiver is what really sets me apart. I mean, it must have been a little easier with me out there, right? When you snap the ball, you throw it to Tommy, rinse and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not even wrong. Right? But seriously, though, the past two years have really put things into perspective for me, and thanks to this guy, I'm just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Wow, humble. Well, okay, gang. <laughs> I think that puts us in a great place to go ahead and find out. Where these two are going? All right, gents. Who oh, wants to go shit. first? Breck, Jonas, we get to well, choose. Yeah, the honors. You can. It's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. All right. Where do we go to? Harvard. Harvard Law. <sighs> I don't think we have that many options. I think there's like ten options. Clemson, Miami, Florida, LSU, USC, Oregon, MSU, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. Go to Texas, man. All right, cool. We'll go to we'll go to UT. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. We live in Texas. <laughs> oh wow, man! What's wrong with that, man? Wow. I don't so usually the like Texas. But... Is made. Tell us when it came down to it. What led to this choice? Well, there's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity <laughs> to play for a legend like Coach Miller is too much of a draw. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah there we got Coach Miller. Play successful school and. I think us. I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right. All right, Tommy. I feel like that's what the you real got for us. Would make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who's it gonna be? Is he gonna come to Texas <laughs> with us? Oh, he's coming with us. Hell yeah, Jody. Yo. Same question. Keeping the band together. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, Batman needs his Robin and can't break up this dynamic duo. Wow, he's coming with us. I'm Batman, you're Robin. I'm Batman, you're Robin. <laughs> oh, and he said he's going to try to wing back his old position or something. Oh, uh, fair enough. Look how sad I look. I'm sucking my own lip up into my lip. You always have the same look on your face. What? On today's crazy news, Coach Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator Red O'Brien. Now, Coach O'Brien has been all the rage for quite some time, sitting at the top of a ton of schools' shortlist for head coaching gigs, but it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is what it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak... Wait. We're the Heartbreak Kids, Jones. Oh. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Neither one of you will be starting. <laughs> Fire back. What do you mean? We've done everything that you asked of us. Oh, he's pulling the rings out. How many of those do you guys have? Ooh, the burn, dude. Now, as that? I was saying. How am I going to get him? Neither of you will be starting, but both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. This is a defense first team now, so I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. <laughs> All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away, because my defense certainly won't. Fair enough. Wow. Fair enough. Well, you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more at ease. 
It's a I different game. I'm going to you guys. I'm going to stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. And <coughs> you'll start the first half. If you deal well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Oh, see, so we get first opportunity. You two are competitors, right? Well, that's how you're going to have to approach this as a competition. Dang, dude. Now go on, get out of here. A little drama, I like it. He came just to ruin my career, dude, after he sucked up to me at the at the damn... <laughs> 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 After you cocked you at the what? At the ball? Yeah, dude. No, he was just like, he, I owe everything to him. Oh, I'm coming for your job, bruh. What are you talking about? It's a competition, gonna, dude. Gonna, it's gonna, gonna blows in public and stab in the, in the back in private. Uh, dude, there's nothing wrong with healthy competition, all right? He's a wide receiver now. Jonas. <laughs> Well, if there was no competition, it'd be a monopoly situation, and those aren't good. All the Gators versus the Grizzlies. Have made the early season pilgrimage to Hard Rock Stadium. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Look at here, we were in college, you know, we made it. Big games, we did. That should be televised. Hells to the yeah, dude. Turn it on. There it is. Playoff. Here we go. All right. Oh my god. So you're not used to a lot of these playbooks either, huh? Not at all. They'll run on first down. Pierce. Oh! Oh! Mm. It's almost. I went to smash that dude and he juked himself out. He juked himself. I hate it when dudes juke themselves around me, dude. If I ever catch you juking yourself, what is a kickoff classic? Probably the first game of the season or something. That makes sense. I don't watch a lot of uh, I don't watch a lot of sports, but uh, you don't watch a lot of like college football. No, when I have TV, I do because there's a lot of college football on. And, um, I'll watch football. I usually will watch college. I don't have a college team. I don't care really about any college team enough. Uh, and uh, but I will watch any game if it's like close. So like if I turn on a game and it's in the fourth quarter and it's uh, it's like. Tied and it's like Indiana State. I'll watch it because mm -hmm. I just don't like the. I just don't like most games are like, oh, dude, they're up fifty-six to six. I'm like, why, why do I want to watch a bunch of mediocre players in a game at that point? Not even wrong. Yeah, so I want to see a blowout. Nobody wants to see a blowout. Right, even in the NFL, dude. Yeah. But in the NFL, it's more like driven by the team. I'm like, oh, dude, I love watching the Browns blow somebody out, but they don't. <laughs> I wish the Browns would start blowing guys out or blowing teams out. I wish Browns, yeah, dude, I wish they'd start blowing something, dude, other than that football. All you got to do is blow at football. That's funny. Blow at football, just saying. That's funny, dude. I'm going to do so good that Tommy may be a chance to play. So, your quarterback right now, and Tommy isn't in the game, right? Right. What he said was, if I do well enough, that I'll keep going. But he also said that neither one of you are starting, but both of you would be playing. Yeah. But well, it, did you start? He he kind of contradicted himself a yeah, lot. Yeah, he did. Because he said neither one of you is starting, but both of you be playing, which means one of us is starting. And then he also said that I would play the first half, and if I did good enough, that I would stay. keep playing, which would entail that he wouldn't be playing, which would so, go against what he just said, so, and that I would be the starter. So both of you will not be playing if... <laughs> yeah, if you guys are good, you won't be playing. <laughs> Neither one of you are starting, but you're starting. Yeah, you're starting, and if you're good, then he won't play. If you're not good, he will play, and then you won't be the starter because he's got to play too because you just didn't want to play. When it seems like an awful lot for that coach to say in that one moment to try to teach you some lifelong lesson yeah, about dude. hard work. Yeah. No, dude, what the hell is this? It's Aesop Fables bullcrap. Yeah, it is Aesop Fables. You remember that completion? He's north of 200 yards you here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, um, Marvin, isn't it? Are those Marvin the ones right now just where, like, the witch tried to, like, bake the kids in the oven and stuff? Desert. 
That's Hansel and Gretel. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. That's, that's definitely Hansel and Gretel. Is that Aesop? No. Is that Grimm? I believe so. Yes. The, uh, like, if you ever, like, go back and, like, look at the original of, like, those Grimm fairy tales. Really dark. Oh, yeah, man. They really are. Uh, the one that really kind of got me, because I actually used to, like, read, because I, I used to like that kind of stuff, um, was the Cinderella story. Like, in the Disney Cinderella, like, uh, the stepsisters don't fit the shoe or whatever. And, like, the prince is looking for the woman who can fit the shoe. And the stepsisters try the shoe on, it doesn't fit, and he's like, oh, you can't be her. And then he finds Cinderella, she fits the shoe, and, you know, happily ever after. In the Grimm's version of the story, he goes to the stepsisters, has them trying to shoe. They go into the back room, cut a piece of their foot off so that they can fit into the shoe. And then the prince is like, wait a minute, there's blood in the shoe. They're like, oh, that's nothing. He's like, no, there's blood in the shoe. You cut a piece of your foot off to foot and fit into the shoe. Both of the sisters do this. Notice that the prince knows there's blood on the shoe. And then he has Cinderella try on this blood-soaked freaking stiletto. So they cut off a piece of their foot to get the rich man, and it, it yeah, is, yeah, that's a, that's a that's something to teach young girls. <laughs> Don't cut off your foot for a rich dude. I mean, hey, that is kind of the moral. I mean, that's what girls can take from it. That's what I take from it. I'm never cutting my foot off for some I'm man. Not changing for any man, no matter how rich he is. <laughs> Like changing, but well, that, at least that guy literally is just standing there watching me run. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't cut off a piece of my foot for no girl. No, 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 no. But I would definitely change for a woman. Like, what do you want me to do? You would what? I would change for Oprah. Oh uh, yes. It's in a, a heartbeat. Gain on the ground, what if Oprah was like, you oh. can't ever play a video game again, and the only music that you can listen to is Hank Williams? Let's go, baby. Let's go. What are you going to do with your free time? I mean, if I'm a billionaire, Jonas, I'm sure I'll find something to, to hold me over. The bowling? <laughs> yes, because all billionaires do is bowl all day. Will you, dude? <laughs> A billionaire Bill Gates in his private bowling alley. That's all he wants. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Jeff Bezos with this massive 50 lane bowling alley in his living room. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, she got half the lanes. Yep. I don't know, man. It's like uh, if you don't have millions of dollars or billions of dollars, then you really don't know what billionaires do for fun. But they probably just make fun of poor people. Wow. Because they are the they need. And it's the and pores, four. Jones. They make fun of the pores. I think we can safely say that those types of pleasures are the help. We know not everyone's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take Anybody who doesn't make six integers a year? Six figures, dude. Six figures, yeah. Normally being a big body receiver. Ew, don't touch me with your poor hands. Ew, he has to go to the game himself. And pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was that is caught. So are we taking your private jet? Oh, you don't have one? Ew. Oh, we can't take each take our own private jet? You got to ride in mine? Ew. Ew. <laughs> the pores. Becca, he doesn't have his own jet. How are you getting to Maui for the, for the festival? I mean, honestly, how are you going to get to the private island for the 40th birthday party? Know, how are you going to make it happen? Oh, dude, here, here's, I hope we have a cutscene because I hope he gets mad when he's like, your point, it didn't even Nothing, have a cutscene. dude. You just get to stay in. So I wonder if, like, I played, like, trash. I was kind of thinking that, too. If they would have been like, hey, you, you losing. How would you be losing? It's on, like, it's on, like grade school. Difficult. Well, like I said, man, they're kind of, like, treating this like this is baby's first man. Baby. <laughs> Baby's first baby. Yeah, Fisher Price, Oshkosh Bagash. Oshkosh Gish. Uh, leapfrog, Baby's first Madden. Aw, oh, Baby's first button. Leapfrog. Baby's first parking Eight ticket. I could have swore I put a quarter in a meter, officer. Baby's first audit. Oh, man. 
Those are coming. Yeah, dude. I can't wait for audits. Yeah, they're going to audit you, man. This is going to happen. They're going to be like, uh... They'll be like, oh, dude, your W-2 is so auditable. They'll be like, let me, let me see all your documents. I, I pull out, like, literally <laughs> one <of these> <laughs> Like, like here's my W two. They're like, what about everything else? And I'm like, Here go. <laughs> here's my paycheck stub. Yeah. The one. Yep. Oh god. How do you feel about jobs that pay you like every six months? Man? You ever seen those type of jobs? Is that a real thing? No. I was gonna say I know, but I know some jobs. I know, I know sometimes jobs pay you once a month. Like yeah. Jobs, like, yeah. How do you feel about those, man? I mean, you gotta budget your money well. Yeah, dude. Like, I know mean, a lot of people who get paid bi-weekly and don't have any money left when they get paid again. Let alone if you get paid four weeks later. Go out and have one really awesome weekend the next three weeks. Mm -hmm. Bored as ish. Yeah, man. I don't know if I can handle it. Hey, don't you dare sack Xander, bro. Uh-oh, time to get him off the field. You got sacked one time. Did it. your number change? Yeah, because I'm in college now, dude. I'm like, I'm like a professional. What number do you want to take when you make it to the league? Oh, dude, like the stupid down. one. Okay, well. I don't know. I don't know what number. If, like, it can't be 55. <laughs> so I'd probably take, I don't know, whatever number they offer me. What do you mean? You want to have, like, a preference? Um, not every number will be available because some people already will have that number on the team. Um, but if you had to stick a Probably 5, 13. Why 5 and 13? Yeah. I like 55, and since I can't have that, 5 is closest. And uh, 13 is unlucky, but I would be good. So oh, I get it. I'd make it the anti. Oh. You dropped that, you. He was wide open. Time to take place. him out of the game, dude. He's throwing up the freaking slot pass. I'll just run the play, same play. I think maybe even a little easier than the earlier. That he dropped surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe a Tasha year? GD softball oh, that time? That was a bunny. That was a bunny. And he will score. Touchdown. <laughs> I just, I was like, Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I did, dude. Blah, 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 that's pretty much what we do over every video is blah, 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 blah. Start this drive in the air. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, number oh, God. I like the idea of being number 13 and Mr. Unlucky. Yeah, really. yeah, have you ever, uh, have you ever done anything that you didn't have a number? Uh, uh, no. 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 Not that I think of. Yeah, I don't think so. Not like a sport or anything. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I did. You told me that you to play football and you got like sick or something. Yeah, I got reverts, dude. <laughs> I wish I, I would have been a good player. Yeah, dude, I got sick. I really missed a bunch of time. Take two yards on the first down carry and then follow up by two yards on the second. I mean, honesty, Jones. It was a sad time in my life. You want to talk about it live on camera? No. I don't want to talk about my addiction past. I, we told everyone how straight it was last time. And it may be good for other people to hear about your struggles through uh, addiction. And then when I put his. No. <laughs> when, did, when did it really turn around for you, Jonas? When I met you. <laughs> Talk about when you met me. <laughs> when I met you, it turned my life around. <laughs> Ew. I was just a man. Ew. He came into my world and he showed me that what true friendship is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. And he will take this <laughs> I do not consent. I'm uncomfortable. Don't you ever call me the true friend. No, you ever a... say that I'm a good friend, you ass. <laughs> dare you. Mother fudger. <laughs> now freaking stab you. You call me a good friend again. I swear to God, don't you ever. Mm. Tell me that I changed. Tell me that I affected you positively. Who the f do you think you are? Yeah. There's not a lot of plays, dude. What do you mean? There's not a lot of plays. <laughs> They're all very the same. It's a very dumbed down uh, playbook. It looks like. It is, dude. Oh, so. dove it in. That's I'm new, dude. Yeah. It, it's funny because they gave you more plays with the team you were playing with. I know, dude. What high school team has more plays than the Longhorns? 
I know the, the, the long horns of all teams. It's Pierce. Ooh, these guys are good at walking. So you can get five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. You can't pass to Adam Sandler, though. Our, our, our good friend Adam Sandler, Tony. Oh, I just made him a B, dude. Sorry. Sorry, did your mom call and say she needs you home for dinner? Oh, you gotta go. Yeah, we're having wham burgers. <laughs> With a side of French fries. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uncomfortably close. I thought they were gonna, I thought I was gonna try to like make him pay with his life, um, but I didn't. Oh. And uh, I was gonna make that guy fall over at once for me because he sucks. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh. Oh, Get out. oh no. Yeah, here comes the high step. I'm going to strut it up. I'm a lyrical gangster. Word him up. Well, um, all right. So if I was a coach and I saw this freaking blow job, blow out, blow <laughs> out, Jesus. blow out of a game, I meant it was just, just a slip of the tongue, all right? Freudian. It was not a Freudian slip. It was a, 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 a Joy Bergian flip. And he will score. And another score. Yeah, but if I'm a coach and I see this freaking clinic being put on. After you told me I wasn't starting, I'm like, oh, I'm not? Yeah. I'm going to put up 100? I would come in and clean that player's jock strap with my bare hands. Yeah, I'd be like, how many of these rings are we going to have now, boy? Suck it. <laughs> Was that a two-point conversion? Oh, that's the end of the game, boys. 105 to 31. Oh my god. I had no idea you were scoring that that degree of uh <laughs> value, my man. That's I'd be dancing if I scored that many points too. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it is. All right, so it we'll is. find out what the coach says on the next one. Yeah, man. that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude does Twitch. TNT Dynamite, Twitch, TNT Dynamite, GHT underscore Crazy Town, Twitch.tv. <laughs> Absolutely, for Jonas. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are. Out. <laughs>